Hello everybody, welcome to the Cycle Cart Workshop. Uh, it's time for an update on the club car build, uh, you know, the Arizona Cycle Cart Club club car. Um, we've been uh, working on the design, uh, as you recall last time we were going to build this Franklin, but we've changed our mind and I'll, sh I'll show you that here in a minute, tell you the reasoning for that. Um, Steve is going to be doing a, a video over at his place of the parts that he's received. At some point they'll come here. We're going to do the build here at the workshop. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to set up to show you the design drawings, the inspiration photos, and uh, the direction that we're heading here. So be right back. Let's discuss why we decided to not do the Franklin. Uh, mainly because it won't scale correctly to the cycle cart chassis that we want to use. We want to use the Renegade cycle cart ch uh, chassis which has the engine behind the rear axle. So you notice how the wheels are at the extreme end of the chassis. Well that's fine if you do a cycle cart like this where the engine is ahead of the front axle. And there's many cycle carts that are successful in that configuration. It would work well for this car, a little uh, Bonneville racer where the wheels are at the extreme. So uh, let me show you the Samson car that will fit the chassis. So we're going to go with this car here. I have a few photographs. Um, we're not exactly sure of the year of this, uh, from 1927 to 1932. <clears throat> We're calling it a 1932 Samson. I think that's how you pronounce it. S-A-L-M-S-O-N. That's what we're going to call it. Here's another inspiration photo. Uh, I like to have a good side view. This is the closest side view that I could find for scaling purposes. Uh, this other drawing shows uh, details in the front and the nose. And I have a couple more here. Here's another one. Um, this, uh, I got a lot of detail off of this one, interestingly enough. Um, here's uh, and this one here, which was, I helped me figure out how to do the tail. And then this one. And then there was one more, this one which I used to uh, help figure out the tail light, or the headlights and the uh, hood ornament. This is the Renegade chassis, um, and, and that's why we switched uh, from the Franklin uh, to the Samson, because the engine is in the rear, and the axle is uh, in front of that engine. So all of my drawings are scaled off of these measurements. Uh, it's a 65-inch wheelbase. 17 inches at the front, 21 inches in the rear, um, and it's a 1 by 3 steel chassis. <clears throat> okay, let me show you uh, how I did the um, design drawings. So let's talk about the design process. Um, I use a scale ruler for a reason, and I'll show you why. Uh, but the whole process begins with determining the parameters, the overall girth of your cycle cart. So in a side view, I work within a box that is 30 inches high by 106 long, and in the top view, 39 by 106, and that's uh, one inch to the foot, and then a little larger scale on the front view of one and a half to the foot, and it's 39 by 30. Now, why do I do this? So, if you take a I made the comment that I didn't have a good side view, and you want a side view because you can uh, take it to a copy machine and uh, blow it up or reduce it to fit a particular scale. So uh, let's see what this scales out to be in this photograph. Um, let's see, one inch to the foot, 20, 24, there's 12, 24, 25, about 27 inches. So this is pretty close to scale, but because this is not a good side view, it's a little skewed. Um, I've designed uh, a couple, two, three cycle carts here, so I know the dimensions I like to use, but 
if you can get a good side view and scale it to one inch to the foot, get that, blow that up so that draw, that photograph is 106 inches, then everything else will scale uh, pretty darn close. So, since I know the parameters I like to work with, these are the boxes that I draw within. So now if we take a look at the first drawing here, um, uh, this is just regular copy paper. I draw in pencil because I'm going to erase it many times. And it, you have to be somewhat artistic in, in uh, interpreting the uh, inspiration car and just do your best to make it look like the car. Uh, to, when you scale it down to a cycle car, it, it takes on a caricature of the inspiration car. And I tend to divide mine up into basically thirds. 33, 33, 33, plus or minus a little bit. A third for the engine, a third for the body, and a third for the nose and your legs, basically. Um, we've landed on 30 inches high uh, as an overall, because you get too much higher than that, now you, you've got a top-heavy car and uh, it can roll over fairly easy if you aren't careful. Uh, in this instance, um, I landed on 28. Um, so, I've done my, my drawing and I'm happy with the shape and I've got all my dimensions but uh, there's lots of scribbles and notes and I've erased them many times. So then the next step is I, I lay vellum, basically tracing paper, over this, over this drawing and I trace a nice clean version with the dimension lines and uh, my goal is to try to get a real nice clean copy. Uh, this vellum prints very nice in a copy machine. So what comes out of that is this one. Back on copy paper again. I've made a copy of, this, of the pencil drawing from the vellum and in the, then I, uh, I ink it. Basically I take an ink pen and I go over all the lines and then I start adding in measurements uh, details, what have you, um, and uh, it turns out pretty good that way. I sneak up on a nice clean drawing. So this is the uh, one inch to the foot uh, side view, my interpretation. Uh, let me show you the, uh, the uh, top view here. Okay, so there's my top view. Once again in pencil, and uh, you know I erased this many times to get this shape right, and I didn't have a good top view. Uh, a lot of times you can find three views of your inspiration car online, and that comes in handy. So this is my interpretation of the shape of the body looking at those drawings. Um, a lot of erasing, notes, measurements, so once again I laid the tracing paper or the vellum over it and made a nice clean version. And then, once I made the copy, now I have this one with all the details, measurements, and what have you. And uh, as detailed as these drawings are, they are guidelines because you'll end up making adjustments along the way. It's just the nature of building a cycle card. Um, let's see here. Now I want to show you the front view. Okay, let me find it. Here is the uh, pencil rendering of the front view. Um, I worked on this quite a bit and I erased it <laughs> maybe a hundred times. Uh, but eventually I was happy with the look, um, my interpretation anyway. And then here's the clean uh, tracing paper version, the vellum. And then uh, of course I made the copy and laid in all the measurements and, and notes. So, uh, this, uh, this will be fun to build. We're going to have a good time uh, making this car. It'll be uh, a little bit of a challenge um, to do the body, but uh, what the heck, we're experienced cycle car builders. It, we're looking forward to it. So, uh, keep an eye out over on Steve Vincent's channel. Uh, he's got an update on parts and coming along, and uh, I'll be back with another update. Uh, before long here as things start to progress. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.